episode of Crazy Town Gaming, where we are the boys inside your head. I'm Jonas. And I'm TNT9, I'm IT Explosive 1, and we are playing more ship breaker. Yeah, you are. Oh, down. Break. All right, Jonas, on the last episode, we were just grabbing seats out of the cockpit. Oh, my God, dude. You grabbed its cock seat. Hot cockpit seat grabbing action. Sounds like something fun. Does it? Cock seat. <laughs> cock, cock flip seating. Cockpit seating. All right, what is this, dude? Oh, yeah, absolutely. Take this thing off of the piece. So you can just, like, rip screws out of the wall with that ish. Yeah, dude, you're just, like, you're just, you're saving, you're saving the planet here, you yeah? know? Okay. You're saving the Earth by taking apart these old antiquated ships. A, a child so can a, eat. So an evil space conglomerate doesn't take it over and try to invade Earth? Well, see, I don't, I don't know about all that, dude. I haven't dealt with any space conglomerates lately. What is this? Oh, 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 oh. Did you see that? It was making, it was making the thing, the things mm. that's happening. Oh. I don't know. I don't know what I have to do there, but we're going to have to figure it out, dude. I'm going to I'm gonna try to not blow this ship up because we've already had pretty good success I mean, that's here. just one little piece, though. So if you blow this one up, you still got the rest. I mean, I do. All right. Well, it doesn't look this is like structural. Doesn't look like anything else is actually valuable on here. So you just take it and put it in the furnace now? Well, this goes to the barge. Oh, okay. It's not, it's fine. This is fine. I could take it off of here. All right. It just did look scary. It looked like it was scary. <clears throat> All right, so that this vision doesn't tell you if things are valuable or not. I don't know what vision would. So maybe you can rip off those things on the side? Maybe, dude. I'm going to try. Please stop. Brake. Got to remember the brake button. Okay. All right. And it's not even damaged. All right, that's good. See, the little, the little squares next to it tell you if it's damaged or not. Tells you, you know what, what conditions it's in. Speaking of space travel, we're talking about Bezos and Branson having sex in space yeah. on the last episode. Spoiler alert. Garen, how was it a spoiler alert if it was the last episode? Okay. <laughs> you can't it. spoil it if it's in chronological order. Spoiler alert, you were born. Sorry. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> shock. Um, damn it, I forgot what I was going to say. I'm sorry, Jeff Bezos and Richard Branson having... It's okay. I forget about what I was going to say all the time. Hold on. Intercourse in space. Oh. At how soon? <laughs> this is going to be a great topic. I can already tell. I can already tell. And, and, can and already at tell. what cost price point would you want to travel into space as a civilian? Like on their, like Bezos is like residential or, you know, sub uh, civilian ships. All right. Ask me again. So when would you feel confident fluidly. that you're not going to die? And what at what price point would it be affordable or and worth the money to? Oh, you? OK. Well, let's see. OK. I did say that very convoluted. It was. It was. <laughs> it was. It was. It's also a, like a three part question. Right. Exactly. Even even the bridge version. Um, Would I do it? Yes. What level of safety would I need to do it? I mean, I like don't 100 know. flights. They've done a thousand flights like. Will you be uh, the first flight? I would. Okay, so you know, there you go. I'm not gonna be the first. I'm not. I don't want to be the first. I'll be like the third. Oh, you would be willing to go up like the third time. If, yeah, if the price was right. Like, look, I know that like bad things can happen, though. You know, like that. That's just a part of, of life. So, right. like, I get in the car. I'm not. I don't know how much percentage when so I get in the car. Am flying I, to space residentially is better and less more safe than skydiving residentially flying to space residentially so as a civilian as a whatever you get my point flying in one of these like anybody can go space trips is safer than skydiving no i don't necessarily feel that uh, but like i say it's hard to it's hard to determine like what level of safety i would need unless i have something like a, i need a barometer right so right. If, when i get in the car and i drive to work what level of safety would you call that right as safe as you can be in a car yeah so what level of safety is that I would is that say a, like out of a that? give me a number give me a range i would say if if one is the most safe you can possibly be and 10 is like you're walking on hot lava Okay, so what is me getting in the car and going to work? What is that? Uh, three. That's a three. 
on the safety, on the danger, on the danger. Oh wait, scale. I, I, if we're taking every single possibility in the world into account, uh, probably a six. To. Probably Which, a six. I would a, say a six. Yeah. You think driving to work is a six danger? Any eye hole could smash into you and kill you at any moment. Jeez, man. I mean, I agree. Is but... it likely? No, but could, is it dangerous? Yeah, dude, it's pretty dangerous. It, it's very, yeah, I don't know, dude. Okay, so if driving is a six, okay. what's what's bungee jumping? Okay, oh, I see your point. Hold what's on. skydiving? Okay, so yeah, I'll go back to driving's a three. Yeah. So driving's a three, what's skydiving? Uh, oh, I did not eight. mean to. Skydiving's an eight. Yeah, I'd say. Okay, so what would be like... Do uh... you agree with those numbers? I mean, I don't, I don't really, well, I don't do really, think? I don't, I don't know. <laughs> I've never thought about this ever in life. So. I know that's why I'm bringing it to your attention now. It's actually is is is, is working for me. Uh, so if driving is a three, and skydiving is an eight, and skydiving is an eight, I'm trying to think of what would be higher than uh, skydiving. Yeah, like working in a nuclear power plant. What? There's people who do that every day. People drive every day. People skydive every day. <laughs> Yeah, but driving building is a bombs. Okay, building bombs. That's that's pretty good. <laughs> I like that. That's more dangerous than skydiving. Like what? What would like uh, like working for the U.S. Army be? I'm trying to. Figure I guess out it depends what your role is. Because if you're just like a, a a tank worker, then nothing. None. A tank worker. Like a mechanic. Is that a thing? Uh, yeah, dude. They have all sorts of jobs. If you're just like a clerical person, if you're an army musician. I mean, like fighting over and fighting. Infantry in a war zone? That's yeah. a 10, bro. That's a 10. You're in a war zone. War zones are 10. You could die at any second okay, for any okay. reason. Look, I just, I'm just <laughs> telling you, I wanted to get one end of the spectrum yeah, versus I would the say other. Fighting in a war zone is probably the, one of the most dangerous things you can do in the world because okay. you could die literally from anything at any moment. All right, good. Uh, good. A missile could come in. There could be a suicide bomber. There could be like okay. anything. So I'm probably judging by this new scale that we just created of like danger, and I'm going to assume like watching TV is a zero. Yeah, like everyday least, stuff, hanging out, cooking in the kitchen, all that kind of stuff is probably a zero or un a half point or something. You know what I mean? Like, because <laughs> you can burn your hand. You know what I mean? Like watching TV, yeah, probably is a point oh one. <laughs> You know, something could happen, but it's more like you you have a heart attack for no reason. Those sort of things. I can't break this. All right. So then in that case, Jones, this is easy for me. I'm not doing anything over a four. Really? I don't I don't want to do anything over a four. Riding going to space is over a four, bro. Is it? Yes. Wait, Flying but on a ship into space not made by like a government entity. Okay, is so where what is that? Where does that fit on the scale then? I would Fine. say that's worse than skydiving. That's worse than skydiving? Yeah, I'd say it's like a nine, dude. Right now. Because it's like you're like you're like the Wright brothers, dude. You're like, let's go up in space, let's see what happens. Like <laughs> This isn't like riding in an airplane. Now riding in an airplane now is probably like a five, dude. Because it's like, it's dangerous, but like, it's pretty regulated now. You know what I mean? Like that's the danger. Yeah, that's fair. <laughs> but this is like, there's been none yet. <laughs> so, but anyways. But I would. I, I still feel like I would do this on Earth. I guess I wouldn't. But if I, if somebody came to me and said, "Hey, dude, we want to go into space. Can you go into space? Can you be the, the, the guy that goes into space?" I'm gonna be like, "Heck yeah!" Well, I also feel like a danger scale of zero to ten is too little. It would have to be a zero to a hundred, because you're right. I can't say driving a car is three and then riding in an airplane is five and then skydiving is an eight. It would have to be more like driving in a car is like a twenty-seven. And then flying an airplane is like a 45. And then like skydiving is like a 75. And then, you know, it, it's things like that. Cause exactly. it's like, yeah, like it, you, or even a thousand point scale, it might be like relevant in that, in that kind of scenario. But uh, well, anyways, that part aside, what would be, if you could take a, a flight into space and you're up there for like a day and then you fly home, what do you think that should cost a person? What should that cost? Obviously at first it's going to be more expensive, but like once it's like mainstream, Flying in an airplane's like 
three to five hundred dollars for a trip. Yeah. What yeah. do you think a space flight should cost? Do what I think it should cost, yeah, or like what I want it to cost. <laughs> <laughs> well, let's go with what you think it should cost, no. and then what you would want. Ugh. It to cost. Well, I would think it would cost probably like a hundred thousand dollars. Okay. That's Even what after I, it becomes mainstream, it's still going to cost like six well, figures? Well, no. It, like, okay, so once it's like as common as like, I don't know. Riding in an airplane. Why, well, then no, it's not. <laughs> that's really common, dude. That's, that's pretty common. Helicopter com- rides. Eh, it's still pretty common, dude. You still have those going up every every day. I, like, I was thinking like if it was as common as like, I don't know, dude. Like, what's I was gonna say, like an amusement park, because that's essentially what it is. It's just yeah, for it's some thrill seekers. Well, right? let's throw it this way: What would you pay to go into space? That that's the that was the original question. Yeah. I, I think uh, I would pay five thousand dollars to go to space. Wow, for a one day trip. I would pay that amount of money if I had that amount of money to pay. Right. Well, if, people spend money on shit they don't. Have, I mean, stuff they don't have money for all the time. <laughs> precisely. They're like, oh, I'll put that space trip on my credit card. I got to see the Earth from space. Now I'm in debt for the next five years. Uh, yeah, like, like, like consequences aside, I would, I would pay five thousand dollars to go to space. Yeah. I Anything do. more than that just seems like, come on, fam. Because right. like, I actually do want to do it, and I, you know, like, it's just like traveling to any place on Earth, dude. I'm just going to freaking throw this thing in the trash. I want to get this piece off, Jonas. But it's just like uh, it's just like going anywhere you want to go. Like, I want to go to Japan. Would I pay to go to Japan? Heck yeah, dude. Would I pay $5,000 to go to Japan? Probably not. Right. But, well, it might cost five k overall between the, the, the flight, the hotel for a week, yeah. doing things you want to do there. Yeah. Going man. overseas is not cheap. And, like, yeah, and freaking space is even, like, it's bigger than Japan. I don't know if you're aware of this, Jonas. That's true. I mean, because I, I went to London and Scotland, and, like, I went, I, we tried to be pretty frugal about certain things, and it was still over, like, two grand total with, like, the train to go to, from London to Scotland, the flight, the hotels we stayed in. Not to mention, like, you have to eat every day for, like, eight days while you're there. And, right. like, all that crap. I mean, it, you easily spend two, three K. Like we have, I have friends that go to like Disneyland. They drop like five, six thousand dollars like twice a year to go to Disneyland. I'm like, that's a lot of money. That's a lot of money, <laughs> Dude, man. Like, I don't know if any time is worth it. Like and that. believe me, man, I lived in Florida, dude. The Disney freaks in Florida are a different breed. Oh man. yeah, and then, like the people who live in uh, Anaheim, where the one in California is in too. Like I had people. Uh, there's people through the, my job I, I know that are living in that area, and they're like, yeah, dude, we got the Disney Pass. We go all the time. And I'm like, what? Yeah, <laughs> You're dude. a grown-ass man, dude. Like, dude, you they, have- they spend bank. But Disney, it's like, I would be remiss if I didn't say that Disney isn't awesome. Have I ever been? Absolutely not. Am I ever going to go, uh, I don't really have, I don't feel like I would. So I'm not going to pay right, that right. much. Right, right. I don't it. either. I know at least <clears throat> two people that have timeshares in Disney. Two people. I know two people that have, to, and they are not cheap. They're, they're not. They're tens of thousands of dollars to do this. You're telling me. And they use that time twice a year to go there, so they don't have to pay uh, out of pocket to to go stay there. Other than they're paying like thirty k for the effing timeshare and whatever. Dude, that's neither here nor there. Um, and I'm just like, dude. Going forever. Like I tried to get like some of these friends it's to gone. come to Texas when I first moved here, and they're like, "Oh no, dude, we're going to Disney." I'm like, "You've been to Disney 38 times, <laughs> yeah, but it's Disney, dude." But they do say that it changes so often, and there's so many different events, and there's so much stuff that is adult oriented that like you you hear Disney, you think kids. Yeah, but it's it's but it is, way more than it that. has so much cool stuff for adults yeah, to do, and yeah. I'm like. Does it? <laughs> but, <laughs> Apparently. I'm like, do I want to hang out at Disneyland? Adults that just love doesn't it. Sound appealing to me at all, dude. In the slightest. They love it though, man. They love it, dude. They love to do arm wrestling contests with Gaston. <laughs> <laughs> Jafar is out there. They're Jafar, just... <laughs> dude. I don't know about Jafar. <laughs> Where's my thing at, dude? Come on down, strap on by, we're a carpet and try to another Arabia dog. <laughs> lovely, t- lovely tune. <laughs> One of my favorites. I know, dude. From, uh, uh, but yeah, like, I don't know, dude. I don't know if I would take a resi- uh, like a residential flight to space. Cause it's not commercial. I guess it's, it's residential. 
right? That's like people who are not business means. I guess it would be commercial. I don't know, dude. Whatever. <laughs> the nomenclature is. But you wouldn't, you, I don't so know you, if I would do it, man. Like This coming from the guy who's going to skydive. That's for the adrenaline and the rush of falling through the air. You don't think there's an adrenaline or a rush to go it into space? You feel a little bit of an but adrenaline like rush when you get into an airplane, <laughs> don't you? I can you? pay like 200 bucks rather than 5K. <laughs> Okay, we'll see. Now this is this is what I was talking about. This is this is all subject to like, is it important to you to go right. to this place? For me, space would be an awesome place to go to. Yeah, so I want and I'm to go to I'm indifferent about space. So indifferent is this crazy? Indifferent? Really? Yeah, just dude. Don't like if even... I had this, if I had five k to do whatever I wanted with, and going to space was an option, but also. I don't know. Whoops. I don't know if anything's worth spending five thousand dollars. Am I just dead inside? Do I not have any care for anything in the world? No, I don't know, and that's, it's fine if you if you don't want to go <laughs> to space. If you are dead dude. inside, it's totally cool. <laughs> <laughs> you don't have to. You don't have to be alive on the inside to want to go to space. Yeah, but I mean, dude. I honestly though. You went to be, England. Yeah, but it was really because like it was cheap. <laughs> I didn't enjoy England that much. You didn't enjoy I, I, it? I honestly wouldn't have taken the trip if, like, the girl I was seeing at the time was like, hey, we can go to Eng we can go to London for 500 bucks. I was like, round trip? And she's like, yeah. And I'm like, let's do it. That, like, that why is, not? That, okay. That you know? is pretty inexpensive. Yeah. I mean, take, I've paid almost 500 bucks to go see my mom in Minnesota before at different times when airplane tickets were. When I when my grandfather died and I had to go to Ohio last minute, I had to pay like 750 for a coach flight yeah. to get out of here in like a couple days. So like, so then, and then we had to take a train to Scotland, but the train was only like 160 bucks for both ways because it was like a four hour train ride, which was awesome because I never got to ride in one of those super fast passenger trains before. Totally oh, like cool. A, is it like a bullet train? It's not that fast, but you're going fast, dude. It's like, and you're going through like the Scottish countryside and stuff. You get to see a lot of cool stuff. And you can walk around the, the train and stuff. It's pretty, it's pretty cool. I hated the plane ride, but I don't like planes. But yeah, dude, I don't know what's worth 5K to do. I don't know. I like if she would have said it's dude. 5K to go to England, I would have been like, go have some mother effing biscuits somewhere else, dude. I fish. We'll get some fish and chips in, <laughs> in the U.S., dude. I don't care. But yeah, would you pay 5k to go anywhere in the on earth? Um just to get there, not to like oh, including wow. other See, expenses. That's the thing, dude, just to get there. It's crazy. Cuz you're paying 5k to go to space. Like I feel like I like if there's any place on on earth that I really 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 want to go, it would be Japan. Like I want to go to Japan. Yeah, I, I actually want to go there too. But I don't know if I'd it pay cost 5K. It would 5K to get there, though. But like, I mean, it wouldn't, but we're talking hypothetical. Yeah, yeah. So, like, I don't know, because I don't think there's really anywhere else that I want to go more than Japan. Right, right, right. right. But <laughs> would you pay 5K just for Japan? I don't think yeah. I would, dude. Yeah, that's dude. a lot. That's right. a lot of money. It is, dude. That's half a, that's a, half a cheap car. <laughs> that's a lot of money, man. Yeah. I don't know. I don't know. But uh, space, well, yeah, take me, dude. I yeah. guess space is the only place I would rather it's go. So exotic, man. Yeah, dude. But I want to like get out and jump around and stuff, dude. Can we like? Can I like get out here? You get out. You get your free space suit. You get to just like go run around in the spacecraft, space zone. So, <laughs> I mean, yeah, dude. I want to like freaking meet some aliens and shake hands with a Wookie. <laughs> oh. <laughs> We're going to Star Wars land, I guess. Isn't there real Wookiees? There's not real Wookiees in space? Is I don't know. There me? might be. Oh, you're inside the shell of the ship, dude. You're taking yeah. out the support beams. But, I, uh, I threw that other piece out. So, yeah, on the next episode, we'll continue to right. uh, take the ship apart Sounds and good to me. talk about uh, weird stuff. Yeah. <laughs> That's all the time we have for this episode. Please make sure to like and subscribe. If you already did that, hit that notification bell. It'll go ding when we put out new stuff for Jonas. For TNT. We are out. Uh...